Hello and welcome back to the Background Podcast. It is September 26th, 2023, and it is my 27th birthday. And I'm making this podcast. I was going to do an audio only version, but I figured I would give the YouTube viewers something to watch. So, uh, hello. And uh, anyway, so 27th birthday. Um, I put out an email this morning basically talking about what the greatest lesson that I learned in 2023. It was, you know, 20, my 27th year of life. Um, and I kind of wanted to elaborate on that in this podcast here today. And so the first thing that I'll say is that the, well, the first thing that I'll say actually is that you need to be on the email list because uh, I send out emails. I say daily, but really they're more weekly. But in any event, I put out this email and the greatest lesson that I learned in my 27th year of life is that everything that you want to achieve is possible. You just have to be willing to go all in. And I know that's cliche. I know that's a saying that kind of gets overused, especially in the personal development space. But this was the year that it that it became very true for me. This was the year that I saw it in real life. And um, just to paint a picture for you, you know, four years ago, I've talked about this many times. Maybe I'll dive into the story like in mu- in much more detail one day. But um, I was not in a good place. I was on antidepressants. I was overweight. I was, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually ill. Uh, my relationship was on the fritz. If you've listened to the podcast with my wife, you will know that that is very true. And, um, you know, I was broke. I was months behind on my rent, months behind on my car payment. I would keep, I would pay just enough money on my car payment to keep it two months behind instead of three months behind, because if it was three months behind, then it would be repossessed. And, um, I would spend the rest of my money on weed or I would take money from my girlfriend who's now my wife. God knows why she stuck around with me, but, um, you know, I'd take money from her and give it to some stranger in Florida that I never met before to pay for, to pay to, uh, to perpetuate my weed dependency. And for those thinking, oh, like, you know, Joe Rogan smokes weed, you know, uh, Andy Frisella smokes weed. And it's like, good for them. Good for them. I was not the type that can be productive and, and smoke weed. That just wasn't me. Um, so anyway, that was my life then. And, you know, this is my life now where I have a platform where I spread my message to, you know, millions of people. I, you know, making more money than I've ever made doing the things that I like to do. I'm meeting the people that, you know, help me get to where I am. I am working with some of them. I, you know, I just a reality that I can't fathom sometimes. And, um, this isn't to toot my own horn. This isn't to, you know, flex on anybody. The reason that I say all this is because I want you to understand that, like, I'm not special. I don't have these genetic gifts except maybe the blueness of my eyes. Um, outside of that, I'm a normal guy. I'm a completely normal guy that just at the age of 23 decided that he actually wanted to try in life. And by try, I don't mean, you know, only play video games on these certain days or only hang out with my loser friends on these certain days or only smoke weed after work or only on these certain days. It was like, no, I'm eliminating all the things that are not conducive to the success that I want to have, all the things that are not conducive to the life that I'm trying to build uh, for myself, for my family. And, uh, that's what I did. And to me, that's what going all in is. I don't think you can go all in, in life. You can't go all in on your future. If you are still half committed to the version of yourself that you used to be. If you want 20% of the result, you got to put 20%. And if you want 50% of the result, you put 50% in. But if you want hundred percent of the result, You got to put 100% in. It's just the way it is. It's a math equation. So many of you sit back and you dream about 
you know, this day where you're going to have all the things that you want, where you're going to have the version of reality that you want to experience. You're going to have the, the, the marriage you want, the kids you want, the life you want, the friends you want, the, the income you want, but you're not 100% committed to it. How do you expect, how do you expect that to happen? It doesn't math. You put 20% effort towards that reality and you want 100% out? That's not going to happen. I don't care what you do. I don't care what genetic trait you have. I don't care who your parents were. I don't care you know, who you know. If you're not willing to put 100% effort into the reality that you want to experience, you're not going to get it back. And so, yes, anything you want to achieve is, po- uh, is, is possible to achieve. The reality you want to live is possible to exp- it's possible to experience it. It's possible to to build that reality. However, you can't also have a foot into your old reality. You have to cut that off. You have to kill the version of yourself that you used to be. Not alive anymore. Doesn't exist. Gone. And it doesn't happen with a single decision. It doesn't happen on a Sunday evening when you're listening to the Matt Graham podcast and you heard something that, you know, he liked that he said, you make that decision every single day. I am three to four years into this journey now and I got a long way to go and I'm going to have to continue to make that decision every single day for the rest of my life. Every single thing that I do is conducive to the reality that I want to build. I don't think you understand that. Every single thing that I do is conducive to the reality that I want to build. Quite literally. That's why I don't play video games anymore. That's why I don't smoke weed anymore. That's why I don't drink. That's why I don't hang out with certain people anymore. Every single thing that I do is is because I am committed to the future that I want to build. And I'm not, again, I'm not saying this to flex or to be braggadocious or to say, you know, I'm more committed than you, nana, nana, boo, boo. That's not what it's about. I'm just trying to get you to understand. Like people ask me, people see my transformation. People see, you know, where I'm at now. They're like, how do I get there? How do I, you know, like... You're not going to get there still playing video games every single day. You're not going to get there smoking weed every single day unless you're, unless you're productive. Sorry, Andy. You're not going to get there by hanging out with your loser friends. It's just not going to happen. Every single thing you, ha- you do has to be conducive to the result that you want. And it doesn't have to be as extreme as the way I like it. If the version that you want to be is a little bit better than the version you are now, maybe you do have to eliminate only playing, you know, video games. Like maybe the, maybe the half measures is you, the reality you're trying to build. Maybe you're just trying to get a little bit better. Cool. The version that I want to be doesn't have to be the version that you want to be. They don't have to be the same thing. That's fine. Totally fine. But you have to decide what that is. And then break that down into the action steps that are going to be conducive to that reality, right? If you are happy playing video games every single day, if you're happy smoking weed at the end of the day, if you're happy hanging out with your loser friends, but you just want to be a little bit more in shape and that's the reality that you'd like to build. Okay, cool. Got no problem with that. But if you're trying to play the game, if you're trying to do extreme shit, you're going to have to do extreme shit. And the messages I get, a lot of you guys are like, I want to be financially free. I want to be mentally tough. I want to be this. I want to be that. I want to be, I want to, I want to, you know, retire my parents. I want to be able to do this. That's going to be fucking hard, dude. It's going to be real hard. And you're not living like you want to do it. Because you 
because you watch some YouTube videos, because you listen to my podcast, because you, because you watch David Goggins videos on Instagram, because you scroll through, scroll through motivational TikTok. That's the, that's the action you're taking. I would argue that that's actually working against you. I would argue that you're receiving dopamine from that activity that convinces you that you're actually trying to do those things because the trying part isn't going to give you much dopamine. Maybe it will after a little while after you, once you fall in love with the process, because that's a real thing that happens. But up to that point, it's not going to be fun. You're not going to enjoy it. You're not going to be motivated by it. And that's how you know it's the actual work. Because it sucks. Because you don't want to do it. Yes, you feel good after. You're going to be glad you did it after. But being horizontal on your couch, thinking about doing it, watching videos about doing it, listening to podcasts about doing it, is not doing it. So you got to go all in. You got to cut off all the things that are not going to be conducive to the result that you want. And I don't know the result that you want, and that's fine. I don't need to know the result that you want. But you have to figure out the result that you want, and then figure out what it's going to take to get that result, and then do everything that it's going to take to get that result. Period. And it's going to be worth it. It's 100% going to be worth it. But it's going to be hard. You got to rip the band aid off. You got to go all in. It's the only way. <laughs>